Two convicted rapists are hoping for a new trial, and tonight they may be closer than ever before. New at 5, another call to throw out the verdicts in the Vanderbilt rape case. News Channel 5's Nick Barris is here with the latest developments. And Nick, this all stems from the controversy over the jury foreman. That's exactly right, Kristen. Did he deliberately conceal his past during the jury selection process? Attorneys for Brandon Vandenberg say yes. They said so last week. And now I've learned a very similar motion will be filed on behalf of Corey Beatty, the other defendant, before the end of the week. Now, this all centers around this man here, jury foreman Todd Easter. Remember, we heard from him the day after the trial ended, telling News Channel 5 he wanted to personally deliver the jury's decision. And Mr. Vandenberg guilty of aggravated rape. I wanted to be the one to read the verdict. On count two, we find Mr. Vandenberg guilty of aggravated rape. And I wanted to read it to them to their face. Since then, allegations surfaced that a juror concealed he was a sex crime victim during jury selection. Easter and his attorney both went public denying that he did anything wrong. Now, for months, we've waited for transcripts of jury selection to see what Easter had been asked. And now we know the motion filed by Vandenberg's attorney states the prosecution asked the jurors if he or she had ever been the victim of a crime. One juror was asked if she had ever had an acquaintance or someone she knew closely who had been the victim of unwanted sexual touch or sexual assault. The DA asked jurors if any questions struck a nerve with you after hearing all that. Easter did not share that part of his past, and he did make the jury. Oh, that is exactly what you do not want on a jury if you're the defense. That's why you, we go through this questioning process, because you don't want that. So the big question now, did Easter use deception to get on the jury? Again, he and his attorney strongly deny that. Now it's up to a judge. Judge Monty Watkins will likely make a decision on these motions, whether or not there will be a new trial at the next hearing. That's June 17th.